U.S. Vice President Joe Biden said on Thursday the U.S.-led airstrikes have helped Iraqi forces halt the offensive by the Islamic State group in Iraq. Washington began airstrikes on IS targets inside Iraq on August 8 last year. They have also sent back some 3,000 troops in its efforts to stem the advances by the militants. He insisted the momentum is in the right direction. Eight months ago, ISIL was on the offensive everywhere in Iraq. No force in Iraq or Syria had proven capable of defeating ISIL head-on. But today in Iraq, ISIL has lost large areas it used to dominate, from Babel to Diyala to Nineveh to Salah Adin, Kirkuk, excuse me, Kirkuk province. But in Syria, the IS has been on the offensive. IS militants overran much of the Yarmouk refugee camp outside Damascus last week, establishing a foothold in the Syrian capital for the first time. Some have fled, but the incursion has threatened the safety of Yarmouk's estimated 18,000 remaining residents. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon on Thursday called for concerted action to save lives and restore measure of humanity in the besieged Yarmouk refugee camp. In the horror that is Syria, the Yarmouk refugee camp is the deepest circle of hell. After more than two years of merciless siege, 18,000 Palestine refugees and Syrians are now being held hostage by Daesh and other extremist militants. A refugee camp is beginning to resemble a death camp. 